All right, everybody. Good morning. I lost my voice the other week because of like this uh, bad cleaning chemical in one of my offices and I'm getting it back. I feel 100% fine. Where are we headed this morning? We are headed to my favorite little place that you've never been. The little west coast of Florida. Mm. Town to, to be determined. Mm. What, are we, what are we gonna Did do? Did you get my bag yet? No, I didn't get your bag because your bag weighs 9,000 pounds. I have to look it from upstairs down to here, down to the garage. Yeah, like, let me let me just give you all like a rundown real quick. Her bag, no matter where you go, it could be a weekend trip to the Catskills in New York, 900 pounds. Actually, no, I packed pretty good for that Actually, trip. that bag was still heavy. But that was winter clothing. I just need options. I mean, we're gone for two weeks. I know that we're gone for two weeks, but like when you think about this, it's warm weather. You don't need the heavy clothes. We don't need to pack chilly. as much. But it's I have like my morning outfit. Florida. I have my morning outfit. I go to breakfast in, then you come back, put your beach tire on, and then you come back and get like your dinner attire on. Three changes of clothes. At least. Every day. I, I can, or if I you can go, go to like to... the beach and you're wet in your bathing suit, then I need another bathing suit for the afternoon at the pool. Mm, you're wet in your bathing suit. Wow. All right, so anyway. You I'm don't gonna... really complain that much until you're in front of the camera. You're like, it's okay. Well, I, I can complain. go pack another bag. I have to complain can... in front of the camera. We can check. <laughs> Six bags. And All right. So, so listen, at the end of the day, I have to go upstairs. I have to lug this big bag down. So I'm using one of my like old Ogeo bags here. I let her have one of my new Ogeo bags, the camo one, one of my favorite bags, which is a heavier bag to begin with for whatever reason. This is a family channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, uh, you know what else too? <laughs> what? <laughs> I never got gas last night when I came home. For fuck's sake. So let's go. What? Chelsea, what are you doing? Right here. Just throw a Toyota Corolla into the back of a Denali. And then here we go. My modest, light, little Your bag. bag's really not that light. It is. Way lighter than yours. <laughs> I actually have stuff in there, too. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. It's still lighter. I'm getting my voice back, y'all. It's coming back. We stop for gas. Probably gonna be late. No, we're not gonna be late. Charlotte. This right here is a prime example. I did not know that we had a layover until right now. It's only one out of our 12 flights. Yeah, so the last time she booked us flights was when uh, we went to Vegas and she booked us Delta. No, it was United. United. And that was the only option we had for what we had, okay? We, we so had. You, you should be grateful to go away. I am very grateful to go away, but. What terminal are we? I have no clue. We got the flights booked. Where the hell's my phone? <laughs> No, but they're on your phone. Forget about it. Give me your best Jersey little voice. Give me a Jersey here. voice. I know, but you spend enough time in Jersey. You should know. Give me a Jersey voice. Go for it. $49 a day for short term parking. I'm getting out. Look at this. I'm done. Oh, she's not wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, she left me. Like, she's rocking the new motivated sunglasses, y'all. Oh, God, that guy's late for his flight. Oh, no. Are you late, buddy? Oh, there's some nice spots down here. Oh, this is juice. Big, big vehicle. Juicy, baby. It's Miss Juicy, baby. Look at that XL. Mm, apparently, nobody flies out of Terminal C because there's so many connecting flights. That's why it's Terminal C. It means you have a connecting flight. No, it doesn't. What the hell is on your window? I had mayonnaise on my car for months like, after that. Uh, almost a year. Someone threw a hoagie out. Someone threw a hoagie out <laughs> while she's driving down the interstate oh. and it hits the side of her car. Oh my, no, no, no. Get this on camera. She cannot park straight to save her life. These spots are too small. All right, so we're gonna get in the back, do a little pre-flight ritual. And uh, this we'll- This is a family channel. <laughs> we'll pick back up after we're done. <laughs> Hey! I can't even yell. Where it all goes wrong. Don't bring your suitcase. We don't need that. I got a little suitcase. I'm about to get me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I want one so bad. You have no idea. Oh, you guys missed your flight. Oh, the wheels light up. That's so cool. Oh my. You almost took out the Volvo there. We're like two kids. That's how you know we have too much time before our flight. We're just like dicking around on a scooter. Let's go to this should be like Friday night. This should make me feel alive. Okay, 
Yogi. This is why you don't let Chelsea book your flights. And uh, if she ever becomes a travel agent, do not book through her. No, you are not. Our flight leaves in like nine minutes. It's a nine minute walk. And I'm not running. I, no, it leaves in nine minutes. Sweetheart. Words. <laughs> so we finally made it to where we're going. Um, really small, quaint little place. Not necessarily what I'm used to booking, but she did her best because this was literally the very last place to book on the island. Like this is no joke, the very last place to book. No hotels, no resorts, no other houses, like this was it. Well, we had a really, really, really weird situation that we're going to explain a little bit later on in this video. And it pertains to our uh, Uber driver. And I've got mixed emotions and feelings about Uber because like I like what they do, it provides a nice service, but it's it's hard to tell what people's intentions are, especially when I come from a background of kind of knowing um, how to protect yourself and knowing a lot about things as far as like trafficking goes. So it was, we had a really weird situation, we're gonna explain it in the video. It was very weird because the driver was asking very, very personal questions and I'm just gonna like tell you all this. If you all get an Uber driver, Lyft, whatever, and they're asking personal questions, do not answer them. They can be vague questions, but do not answer personal questions like, do you have kids? How are, how old are they? Where are they right now? It was one of the strangest things ever and answer minimum and protect yourself maximum. How about that? So we'll get into the full story a little bit later, but we're here. It's time to eat. I am starving right now, and um, we're gonna go to this nice steakhouse, aren't we? Yes, I'm starving. Let's go. Last night was fun. How was your steak dinner? It was so good. Oh, it's tired. And now, where are we headed? To get some coffee. Some coffee. What about a blueberry muffin? Okay, we can try and locate one. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna locate me a blueberry muffin, y'all. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. But Sun shining, it's a great day. I know, it's so nice outside. Little bird got a worm. The early bird gets the worm. Early bird does get the worm. That's a proof in the pudding right there. Ah. I so, feel like, isn't it crazy when like, like oh, I'm going on vacation, I'm gonna like sleep in, and like, it's the polar opposite when you come somewhere warm, so. You like wanna be outside. Yeah, I'm like, if the sun's up, let's go. <laughs> Hello. I know, you were up early, I was surprised. Like sometimes we'll try to sleep in at home, but like, when you're at a place like this, it's just too nice to like pass up like the sunshine and I mean this place is freaking beautiful around here by the way. We talked to Omar and Tiffany last night. That was Oh yeah, fun things coming with them. Yes. So we'll we'll, we'll see what the, the week brings. They they might be visiting us, we're not sure yet. They're gonna look at their schedule. I know um Tiffany said something something Boston had to do something, right? Yeah. Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, cross the so. street the street don't get hit so anyway let's go get us some coffee ma'am you have your coffee how's it taste great great good you want a sip no no i do not drink coffee my dear Oof. breakfast by the pool baby so now we're gonna recap basically what happened yesterday um with our uber ride which is really strange um it was it was extremely uncomfortable number one because this guy was asking questions that were not pertaining to what we're here for, vacation, having fun, all of that. So it got a little weird and she was very uncomfortable. We're texting each other and I'll kind of let you take take the reins a little bit. Cause he was, he was hammering questions at you first. Yeah, like instantly started yeah. to like attack, not attack me, but like questions that did not pertain, like very nosy like do you have kids how old are they if you do like how long are you here for where'd you come from like it wasn't like oh like you're staying here like here, go eat a cheeseburger at cheeseburger joe's or whatever like he was very weird yeah and asking are your kids coming down if so when do they come in and all of this and how long are you like just very like wanted our socials and our addresses basically yeah, i know i was, I was so waiting strange. for that next yeah, I can see, like, kind of brought awareness, like, you know, I don't do a ton of girls' trips, but, like, I'm like, haha, if we do, like, yeah. I need to, like, 
just have a car service. Yeah, a hundred percent. It was very strange and like just telling us all about his family and why he's here and it was just very strange. Had like pictures of like his kids on the dash, but I'm pretty sure they were not probably his no. kids. Um, it just brought awareness to like some stuff that goes on in the world that we don't want to think about or talk about, but goes on. Yeah, no, and, and it's one of those things you're probably thinking, well, well CJ Chelsea, like, is it was it really like that bad? Like the way this guy was asking I've questions. I've been in a lot of Ubers in a lot of places across the country. Some by myself, some with people, some with groups, and I've never felt like that ever. Yeah. Ever. It, it was it was just very weird because. The, like we literally the checked way he was at that asking. point. I think. I mean, Uber does a great job. I think like showing on the app like to make you feel safe, but yeah. like definitely be aware of your surroundings. Like. I made sure, like, I was on the driver's side in the back seat, but I made sure that, like, the child locks were on. Like, so if we had to jump out, we were yeah. tucking and rolling. <laughs> but, um, Stuff you don't think about. He was, but... like, looking at our bag tags, like, where we came from, where we stopped, and I brought that up to you today. And I'm yeah. like, maybe next time, we, like, you just, if you're getting in an Uber from the airport, like, maybe rip your tags off before you're getting in that Uber. You just never know. Yeah. You know, are they taking pictures of your name on that tag, or, you know... They can type in a computer, you know, American Airlines flight number and see where you came from. I mean, that it's on the tag, but just, like, things to be aware of well, when traveling. Uh, the biggest thing is that you have to worry about now is, is trafficking. And whether it's, you know, it could be you, it could be a kid or whatever. You have to be paying attention to your surroundings because the picture on the dash was to make you feel more comfortable <clears throat> with this said person. Now, I understand like we're all proud of our kids, but at the end of the day, that was a tactic and it, it was very, very strange. And it, it, it was just a very uncomfortable ride. Uh, the music choices that we were listening to were all over the place from symphony to like worship music to like all this crazy weird stuff. Um, but yeah, the guy just made you feel very, very uncomfortable. Now, the, now, I know what you're thinking. Well, those are pretty harmless questions. You know, what are you doing? How long are you here for? But it was the approach. It was literally before we even got in the car. Like, before. It was just very, like, brunt. And, and the jokes about, like, selling kids and stuff like that was uh, very yeah. weird. Like, he's like, like he's asked my, if we my wanted son. more kids. He's a pain. I'll, you, I'll sell you him. I'm like. But it, what, he didn't say it in, like, a joking manner. Yeah, it was very strange. And after he knew that we weren't taking it very well, he then proceeded to laugh it off as if it was a joke. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take the appropriate steps and measures. Um, but, you know, don't don't go attack Uber or anything like that. But we're, we're really telling you our story. It was extremely weird. And just be aware of your surroundings. I, I don't like it. Especially females. Yeah. So, we got some color today. That's literally an understatement for Chelsea at least um, we're gonna end off this vlog but we we're gonna put something extremely important in here like some news that her and I have but we're gonna make y'all wait for the next video what's the news we know what the news is <laughs> so um, anything you would like to say look at their back it's so bad it's bad bad it's, it's not good <laughs> yeah Yikes. So, thank you for the deal. Love y'all so much. See y'all in the next video. This should be like Friday night.